Hello. Today we will discuss about Tableau architecture and scalability. So let's get straight into it. Tableau architecture. So basically this is a Tableau server architecture which talks about we'll get different data from different clients. For example, I have I have a client XYZ which has a data warehouse. I can get data from that data warehouse to Tableau and do the, do the reporting. Similarly, from the, some other client, I may get data from data marts, maybe from files, from the business objects or Cognos cubes and so on. So for each and every data sources, I have a connector available. So fast data engine, SQL connector, MDX connector, all these connectors are available. I can connect to the databases and then give all the data to Tableau for the data visualization. So once the data is connected with Tableau using these connectors, there are three main components available in Tableau server, which is data server, SQL server and application server. Data server takes care of all the manipulations of data, aggregations of data, sorting and so on done by data server. SQL server takes care of conversion of data into visualizations. Application server takes care of the security part. Suppose I am the user of North region and I want to see data in the Tableau's reports. I can only able to see the data for the North region. I cannot see the data for any other regions. That is one point of security. The other point is I am a HR manager and there are multiple reports on HR as well as finance. So I should not have access to finance reports because I am not belong to that particular department. So all those things are taken care by application server. There is a repository available in Tableau server which consists of all the details like users, groups, what all subscriptions are there, what all extracts are there. All the details are available in this Tableau repository which is created and packaged with Tableau on PostgreSQL which is again a database. So the Tableau repository is reside in that particular database which is PostgreSQL and the more details about it is covered in the Tableau server videos that we will share in the next classes. Once that is done, I have a gateway and load balancer. So any data which is or maybe any request, suppose I have multiple requests coming for data server, multiple requests coming for SQL server, multiple requests coming from for application server gateway or load balancer basically stops the uh, request and then pass the request to the server one by one or in a chunk so that if there are more requests available it will pass on chunks and it will not impact the performance of the server so based on the requirement based on the bandwidth the server has mm, some number of uh, requests are going to the different servers and it's actually performs once that is done, then other rest of the server, server uh, like request will go and uh, hit the server and do the needful. So load balancer will actually help to improve the performance and balancing the load of the server. Now, how Tableau is scalable? Consider a scenario. I have a small business and which requires less number of, which has less number of users less number of reports i can very well go with the 8 core cpu machine with 32 gb space which is the minimum requirement of a Tableau server is now consider i have increased my business to multiple places and now the users are more the reports are more and the load in the server is more i can go ahead and create three server 24 core cpu where I can give two machines to SQL server, application server and data server. These are the services which actually runs more. That's why I want these machines to have two server dedicated. 
One server I will give it to repository, extract host and backgrounder. Backgrounder takes care of all the background activities which are running in Tableau server. Repositories, we talked about it's in PostgreSQL, has multiple details like users, groups and so on is maintained in the repository. So we'll give that particular server to repository. And finally the extract host. So I'm putting the data in my extract. So that is maintained by extract host. And I'll give my one machine to these three services. Extract host will cover in the next class. Uh, extract is basically will cover in the next class and help you understand what is the use of extract and where we can use that. Now consider a scenario that my business increases once again. I have more number of reports and users. I will go to five core, five servers, 40 core CPU. I'll give three machines to these three services. One machine to backgrounder and one machine to repository and extract host. Now again, I have to improve or increase my server. I can do that. So this is how it is scalable enough. If I have a small business, I can come up with a small minimum requirement of the server and then as and when the requirement increases, I will do a scalable uh, increase in the server and then it takes care of that as well. So this is how we can increase the space, increase the machines and do a scalability in Tableau. Hope this makes sense and in the next class we will talk about live connection extracts and how to create uh, database filters till then happy analyzing